And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to your next bout of the evening. And this one is for your vacant WBA Intercontinental Cruiserweight title of the world. First off, from the blue corner, Tony Sugars. <laughs> Salam, huge opportunity for the Nigerian. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be on his opponent from the red corner, Mike the Rebel Perez. I was so hard headed at first. My grandma didn't even believe in me. I kept going though. All I can say is I told you. Jury at the bank now in the bar. You should have never doubted me. I'ma work to my last breath. I'ma hustle to my last breath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you should have never doubted me. The pain and the struggle followed me. But that never been the So mother. the rebel Mike Perez making his way into the ring. Do a time it'll come and doubt me. It's been nearly three years since we've seen Mike Perez in the ring. Emroy Thomas, you're looking forward to this fight. Well, what can we expect to see from Mike Perez? Oh, man. Um, I'm pumped for this one. For one, um, you know, you have two guys in here who are very hungry. I know Mike's story. I know the struggle from Cuba to here. And for them to kick him to the side like they did for me, you know, we have a personal relationship. And tonight, I just want to see him be victorious for his kids, you know? very well you say you have a personal relationship with him yes sir yes sir once again ladies and gentlemen this bout is for your wba intercontinental cruiserweight title of the world this battle is scheduled for 12 three minute rounds so there we are ladies and gentlemen everything's done just a fight to have it's been nearly three years since we've seen mike perez Grace the ring. Now firmly down at Cruiserweight. Now you know this man very well, Len Roy. What, what's, what's, what's Mike been like when he's been out, been out of the gym, been out of the ring so long, not out of the gym? What can we expect tonight? What, what are you thinking? I mean, the first round, you know, I want him to come out and feel the guy out and then uh, go to work. You know, all the emotions, all the pain, this is the time to, to let it all out, you know. 
Um, you got to remember, he, he's, he's a veteran of this game. You know, he fight guys like, you know, uh, Pavikin, you know. Maris uh, Paredes. Ex exactly. You know, Brian Jennings from America. And also, you know, Carlos Takam. You yeah. know, so he have experience. And not only experience, you know, he, he have wisdom of the game. So just to see, I don't think this one will go the distance either. So for those who don't know, Perez in the white shorts with red and blue trim. Tony Salam in the white and green. And both guys represent their country tonight. Yes, very passionately. So we're underway. Perez fainting ever so slightly, and he starts with that, that leading right hand, comes in with the left. Perez fighting out of southpaw. Like I said, this, this fight is going to go under six rounds. You know, Perez is, is intensity, you know, and again, it's going to be thunder at the end of those punches. I know what he's been through. You know. So an all Southpaw contest this evening. It's interesting because Southpaws can find themselves getting quite a bit of like high quality sparring work because they're, they're quite hard to right, find. Right, right, right. So despite him not being in the ring so long, there could have been, you know, he's probably been, been still getting some very high quality work out there. Exactly. And you know, like myself too, this is why, you know, I've been in so much uh, no, top-notch camps such as the Povetkins, yeah. uh, the Joshua, you know, because they need quality uh, southpaws, you know. So Lenroy, it doesn't look like he's starting particularly slow here, Mike. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It, it's vengeance for him. You know, Mike, Mike like that fire. You know, he's going to stay in there and he's going to fight. Tony Salam trying to, trying to disrupt Mike Perez there. Good, good job there from Salam. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Both guys know both, the, you know, the legacy is on the line. And, you know, Salam is also a Paul, you know, have a decent record too. You know, so he, he didn't come here to lose tonight. So Salam's had some success himself winning WBF titles in, in Africa. Uh, Salam gets under the big hook from Mike Perez there and the referee has to break them up. Salam attempting the jab. <laughs> so, maybe the first round. What did you make of that, Limbo? Very intense round for both guys. But I, I slightly to give the edge to Mike. Yeah. Know? Wasn't too much to write home about though, was exactly, it? Exactly, exactly. So have you been able to get a, a, a first hand look of what Mike's been doing in the background during this time? Have you have you worked with him quite a lot in the gym? No, actually when he came to uh to Germany, I was departing back to the US to spend some time with the family. So, you know, we, we split we split times, you know. Um, but actually coming up here for the next show, uh, we're both being camped together. I'm yep. look, looking forward for that. Fantastic. Yeah, Mike, Mike Perry is an interesting, an interesting figure. Absolute mental story about how he got outside of, uh, out of Cuba. Exactly, yeah. exactly. He's literally in a box, covered in mosquito bites and all sorts of things. Kind of it's half, a, it's half a struggle, held by a man. cartel. And here he is, 
were talking in the taxi the other day and he said, yeah, it's all, it's all bad stuff that's happened to me, but it's brought me to this moment today, this great opportunity to get to get back in the mix at Cruiserweight. How, how do you think he fares if he can get a couple of fights under his belt? How, 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 th how well do you think he can do with like the very best up there? He's a threat. You know, he's a threat. You know, because again, the, cru the Cruiserweight division is not very stacked right now. You know, yeah, that, that was below the belt. Yep, That's right, well, right at the Colinos. It wasn't slightly under the I belt know, either. It was. No, it was right there. <laughs> yeah, he's all right, he's sucking it up. So Perez gets back to work. Ooh, clash of heads there. Yeah. The two men come together. And Perez seems to uh, lit the fire that low blow. He's not going to, I think there's some blood on the nose of Mike Perez. And now, now, you know, the dog come out, you know. It certainly appears so, Leroy. There you go, Mike. There you go. I just think Mike just need to stay at the body right now. So that wasn't uh, a knockdown. That was considered a push by the referee. And Mike Perez does not look like he wants to waste any more time in there. Are these encouraging signs, Leroy? Yes, yes. He's he broken mentally now. Oh, good shots by yes, Perez. Yes. Salam there you go. To like that and he goes down to the body. Again, Perez needs to stay to the body. Good shot over the top from Perez. Does hit a bit of the guard, but. Salam's not having the greatest time of his life. Good shots again to the body, and he then oh, goes yeah. upstairs. Oh, yeah. Referee has a little chat about hitting behind the, the back of the head. Is that? Yeah, there's blood. Yeah, could that be a broken nose? or? Oh, no, it's right on the bridge of the nose. Yeah, is it on the bridge, is it? Clash of heads earlier, yeah. yeah. A decent shot there, a decent hook there from Tony Salam, and Perez comes back. This one has definitely set fire. You know, Perez just need to pressure him right now. You got a man backing up, you know. He got him. It's a sinking duck. Yeah, down to the body. And stay again, to, you need to stay to the body. And Salam stumbles ever so slightly. A lot of Mike Perez support in here. I can hear a lot of go on Mike in the background. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Great crowd here tonight. We have a lot of fans here. Come on, everybody. So that brings it in to round number two. So yeah, there is some blood coming from, from the bottom of the nose there as well from, from Mike Perez, but I think he's gonna be all right. Just a little cut at the top of the nose, at the bridge of the nose there. Oh yeah, you know, when I see my own blood, you know, that does do something to me and I think that's brought, you know, with a low blow from that point, brought it out of Mike, you know. Yeah. What happens when you see someone else's blood? How does that, how does that affect a fight? Again, you see, uh, you see blood, I kill, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's not tennis, is it? So, no, <laughs> no. So yeah, really having a go there. He's not, he's, he's certainly not trying to get some rounds under his belt. No, no. So here we are into round number three, WBA Intercontinental Cruiserweight title on the line. You don't want to blink on this one, ladies and gentlemen. At all. Look at the intensity in Perez, you know. He got him trapped now to stay there and work. But Perez needs to keep them hands up. Though. Good, good, good. Good movement there, got out of danger from Tony Salam. Didn't just walk into it. He's not looking like a man who's been out of the ring for three. No, no, no. Perez find him, finds himself under the armpit of Tony Salam. Beautiful.
beautiful. Lovely, no, no, lovely no. stuff from Mike. He, he shook him right there. Mike just need to jump on him now. Mike just need to jump on him now. Mike. Mike Perez taking his beautiful body shot. Mike just reset right now, Mike. He goes down to the body and then goes up the stairs. Some nice stuff from Mike Perez here. Aggressive yet calculated, I think is the, the best way to put it. Skips out of the way of danger, Mike Perez. Now he's back. He's finding, back on the he's finding his groove now. He's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Finding his groove now. Like again, I said, this fight is not going, you know, I don't think it's going to the six. I like I like how uh, Perez when he has to reset and transition, he seems to do that real quickly, doesn't he? Exactly. And now he heard him with a red fan. Yeah. Salam's on the run. Yes. He's in the corner. He doesn't look combination, to Mike. Com shot to the body from Mike Perez. Combination, Mike. He goes upstairs, sort of partially finding his way around the guard. So at the moment, it's the Mike Perez show, ladies and gentlemen. Mike put a combination together. who get this guy out of there. Yeah, I think so. There's an end to so something made Lenroy Thomas uh, made Lenroy Thomas laugh there. I, I, I like the Mike, you know, he blew him a kiss like I got you now. Oh, you know? okay, I didn't oh, see yeah, that. Yeah, 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 he blew Fantastic. him a kiss. So that shows a lot of confidence from Mike Perez at the moment. He, he's feeling it now. He's feeling his groove right now. And everything is coming off good, you know. He, he have a man backing up. Now Mike realizes he's breaking him. He's breaking him. And all Mike got to do now is sit down on a couple of shots and get him out of there. So Lenroy, Lenroy Thomas with split loyalties here, trying to commentate. I'm just happy to see my man back in there, man. Just really, think, really happy. I'm happy to see him back in there. I think a lot of boxing fans are as well. Now he's finding his grooms, you know. There you go. Yeah, he's looking good in there. Too. Oh, yeah. Just like that, Mike. The, the right hand. Yeah. And Tony Salam trying to get the jab on the way. Perez ducks beneath it. So, you know, Mike, Mike want to fight fire with fire. Yeah, he's closing him down. He's not being too reckless, though. No. I think he's showing some nice, some nice movement in there. Good oh, body shot. Lovely, again. Body shot. And again doubles that up. And then goes upstairs. Salam stumbles a little bit. Keep it, if Mike if Mike doesn't need to keep this pressure. Keep this velocity. Good shot to the body. And it walks like an unwatered tree. Lenroy Thomas is off his feet. Salam is back up. Great shot to the body. It's going to take a combination right now. A combination for Mike and it's over with. He barely beat that 10 count. Lovely shot again to the body. Really dug that one in. Tony Salam has some, some success himself. Again, Mike like to fight fire with he's fire. He's quite happy to take a shot to land a shot at the moment. Oh, 
great shots here by Mike Perez. Salam seems in a world of trouble and he's turned his back on Mike Perez. Defended hard again to the body. Tony Salam is in the corner. Low blow, but referee doesn't see it. And down he goes, he is out cold. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. And that's how we're doing here at Legacy, baby. Sensational performance from Mike Perez. What a way to make a statement in the cruiserweight division. Welcome Tony back, Mike Salam Perez. Tony Salam is asleep, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Wonderful stuff from Mike Perez. Uh, Nice to see that from, from Mike Perez. Some sportsmanship. A wonderful performance from, from Mike Perez. And Tony Salam is still on the floor. You know, remember what I told you earlier? before we, we go yeah. live about Mike Perez. Yes. And that's the type of danger that a guy like this, you know, can afflict and his opponent. And again, I tell you, Mike like to fight fire with fire. And that's what we see tonight. And here we go now, ladies and gentlemen. This bout will stop right now. Declaring your winner by knockout. And now, the WBA Intercontinental Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Mike the Rebel Perez. I'm so hard here today, friends. My grandma didn't even believe in me. I kept going, though. All I can say is I told you. Jury at the bank now in the vault. You should have never Hi, doubted. Rubber, a few words with you, my friend, with your, your promoter, Kareem. Didn't look like you've been out of the ring for, for, for three many years. How, 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 how did you feel that performance went, sir? Oh, man, I feel so happy, you know. I, I want to thank, uh, you know, like my team, my coach, my money, and my... Uh, my promoter here, Karim, or oh, another Karim is here somewhere. I want to thank my wife and everybody that come and support here today. Oh, I feel so good, you know. It's been like three long years. Uh, I feel a little bit rusty, you know. But um, I started getting into into the fight, and I just take him out. Yeah. I just want to thank uh, uh, Tony Salam for taking the fight, and you know, just. Uh, do his best. Uh, nothing from here, yeah. all the way up. It seemed the uh, the low blow early on uh, seemed to set the fire in your belly. Is that correct? Yeah, it's kind of wake me up. You know, um, I was kind of sleepy. You know, for that kind of wake me up. Yeah. And thank God, you know, I just uh, I just take him out. Uh, actually, beautiful. So I just want to thank him again for taking the fight, and thank my team, my wife and all the people that support me, and all the Cuban out back there that, that fight for the freedom. I just want them to, to know that I am with them, you know? And they keep fighting. Who's next? Who do you want to fight next? Uh, anybody. Anybody that wants to fight me, I am ready. Great to have you back. I want my money and my promoter here, my training and everything, all my things. Thank you, thank you, a special uh, thank you for this guy here, Flavio. And yeah, they can contact him too. Anybody that wants to fight. Anybody. Okay, great to have you back, Mike. Congratulations. Thank you.